Hi friends, happy to have you here. I'm super excited to be dropping my first video of 2024. So now's the time of the year where I really focus on refreshing my playlist, music discovery, and also clean, maintain, repair, and inventory all of my gear. I figured today would be a great day to go through my gig bag. Now this is what I bring to every single event that has everything I need to DJ. You name it, it's in this bag. I don't think I ever did a review on the Jetpack XL, and now that I've put it through an entire wedding season, I also think it would be a great opportunity to show you how much stuff I can fit inside this thing, but also highlight some items that I think every single DJ needs to have with them when they go to an event. So with that, let's open up the zippers and see what DJ Rachel has inside her bag. So at first I had trouble figuring out what I could use these for, but they turn out to be pretty good for carrying some extra batteries. I actually used this uh, my party last Saturday where they had this uh, LED 50 sign for the 50th birthday and the venue didn't have batteries for it. So your girl hooked them up and this is exactly where those batteries came from. Don't laugh, but in this other pouch, I actually carry this really old and crappy tape measure that by any standards <laughs> should be in the garbage. Here we go, check this thing out. This thing has been in my family since I was a kid and I don't need precise measurements, but the reason why I bring this is, you know, I'm big on symmetry and if I have all four totems and my booth and my speakers and I wanna make sure that things are symmetrical, Sometimes I can use the architecture in the room, but a lot of times I'm running into venues that they aren't symmetrical themselves or they don't have a tile floor where I can count the tiles. So this uh, trusty beat up old tape measure does the job. Call me OCD, I carry a tape measure, leave me alone. <laughs> There's a side pocket here, and this is where I keep my in-ear monitors. I use the UE11s. I absolutely love them. And then up top, I actually have an Apple AirTag in here just to keep an extra extra eye on these. Not that anyone could really use them because they're custom fitted to my ear, but absolutely love my in-ear monitors. In this pocket here, I have the world's best door opener. And all you do is simply hang it over the hinge of the door and that's how it keeps it open. So this will work with any door and it just kind of makes things really simple for me. There's definitely times when those little feet on the bottom of venue doors just are missing. They don't work. They don't have enough uh, tension to actually hold the door back. And it just, I don't have time to deal with that nonsense. So I always bring my own door opener. This is actually pretty expensive for what it is, but it works great. So it's worth it. Amazon, I'll put the link in the comments. Then there's this other pouch on the side. I think Jetpack designed this for like passports and stuff, but I keep my vlogging stuff in here. Here's my trusty handy dandy uh, tripod selfie stick, 20 bucks. Um, all my vlogs, this is the gear right here. Cell phone, selfie stick, and my uh, Hollyland microphones. So I can pull them out when I'm ready to start creating content and don't have to go digging for it. Moving along the back, Apple AirTag. Uh, this isn't just about theft. This is about also leaving items behind at the end of the night, at home. You know, you're traveling out of state and you want to make sure that you have all your gear with you. This is a great way to do that. And then here I have my V Moda headphones. Um, we don't need to talk about this, but, <laughs> you know, mobile DJ life. But these also are held up uh, amazing. Love them and I got my custom plates and I always keep a set of headphones with me in case I choose to use these instead of the in-ear uh, monitors. So that's the, oh, and of course we can't forget some extra Velcro straps just because you never know. So I always keep some of those strapped to the top handle and uh, that's about it for the outside. So starting at the top, I got two rolls of uh, gaff tape. I got a three inch and two inch. This is also a Leatherman. I think every DJ should have a nice multi-tool. And this was a Christmas gift I got and it's actually personalized. So how cool is that? Love my Leatherman because you never know. Here I have a couple of extra audio wires. This would work for my 707M when I have my iPad that I use for my backup. Moving on down, this is a multi-plug charger. Of course, every DJ needs one of these. Uh, do not leave home without it. 
And essentially it's used to determine if the electrical outlet you're plugging your gear into has any common wire faults. Make sure all these are making uh, good contact and it's fully inserted. And then you're gonna observe the lights. Now every model is gonna be a little different, but essentially these color codes are gonna give you information about the condition of the outlet that you're using. So if it's wired correctly, go ahead and plug all your stuff in. Then there's things called open ground, which means that the outlet isn't grounded properly, which is an obvious safety hazard. There's open neutral, there's open hot, there's reversed hot and ground. So you always wanna make sure that whatever outlet you're using is functioning properly to protect your equipment. So for a couple bucks, you can make sure that everything's on the up and up. I keep an additional short mic cord. And then of course, an extra, I think these are called IECs. This is for my laptop power block. Uh, I don't know why, again, redundancy. I have Vmotas, I have inner monitors, but I do carry just an extra emergency pair of headphones. And then I have some uh, cleaning wipes, right? I think this is also another good item to have in your bag. You know, I work outside a lot, and especially earlier in the season, there's a ton of pollen and dust or if you're you know in a barn or something you never know so i always like to keep my stuff nice and clean moving on down to here here's where i keep my hard drives and i always have three so i have my main one which is indicated by my handy dandy sticker i have one for the other laptop and then here is a backup of i'm gonna say all the essential music needed to throw a pretty damn good party Am I gonna have everything here on this? No, but I definitely have enough music to get me through any event and do a great job. And of course, extra cables for all of that. Over here, I keep my battery packs. I have four of these. I usually operate with two totems, but I can add additional packs if I use four totems. I need uh, one at the top, one on the bottom for each totem. And you can see that I have them labeled here with the Velcro, so I just put them in, plug in my ape coin, and now my totems are illuminated. This, let's have a conversation about this. I got this as a Christmas present from a very good friend after they saw my gig log, Venue versus DJ. And, you know, shame on me for not owning one sooner, especially that I find myself working in less traditional event spaces things in barns and in residential areas where sound levels are definitely becoming an issue. Now, some of you might be tempted to use a phone app decibel meter instead of something like this. Now that is good for just a quick estimation, but it's definitely not gonna give you an accurate reading like this. And that's because phone app decibel meters, number one, are often not properly calibrated. They also have a limited frequency range. You know, cell phones are designed to do a lot of things well, not one thing perfectly. And different phone models have different microphone capabilities, which means there's gonna be different sensitivities, which are gonna cause variations, again, in the accuracy. You know, we can't just be operating off of if we think it sounds too loud or we think it sounds okay. At the end of the day, there is a right way and a wrong way to do things. And if a venue is giving you a hard time or you do have a Karen in the audience somewhere, this is a great way to kind of shut down the nonsense or maybe honestly put yourself in check because remember, We've been using our ears more than most people and uh, what you hear now after, you know, 10, 15, 20 years of doing this is not necessarily the same thing uh, what your audience hears. So for the price, I think this is a tremendous asset for any working mobile DJ. Finishing up in here, I keep extra headphone adapters as well as earplugs. So if someone is really bothered by the sound, here you go, plug up your ears and a couple of adapters for my hard drives obviously a stack of business cards a couple pens scissors because why not and then i keep my mouse that i like to use in this pocket here i'm telling you it's crazy how much stuff you can fit in this bag so right here i have my second laptop this is a i think 15 inch razor laptop i run dual laptops at my event so here's where the second one lives 
I usually have my wedding timeline paperwork in here. I will print off a copy for the other vendors and keep a paper copy for myself. Obviously, I have no weddings going on this weekend, so that's not in here, but that's where I would keep it. And then I also have uh, laminated signs that I sometimes use on my larger uh, ETX 18 subs. And I'll just use a little piece of gaff tape on the back to keep that on my sub to make sure people aren't using it as their cocktail table. This pouch right here, I have my Ceremony iPad. This is a iPad Pro with DJ Pro AI. I keep some emergency mixes on here as well as all the spotlight songs. So if for some reason both of my laptops uh, crapped out, I could use this as a third backup if needed, but I usually use this for ceremonies alone. Here's my photo booth iPad uh, capture book. This is an older iPad Pro. That fits perfectly right in here. Then I actually have an additional backup. You may have uh, remembered this from my museum gig log. This is an iPhone 5S that I use strictly just for an additional, you know, satellite speaker somewhere that just needs some music playing in the background or again, an additional backup. It still plays music just fine. So I keep that in here for another just in case. And then an additional mic cable if I need something longer. And last section, which is crazy large and where the bulk of the weight is. So over in this pouch here is my main laptop. This is a 17 inch Asus laptop. So this can accommodate a very large laptop if needed. Padded and well insulated and also very stretchy. So very dope pocket in this bag. Okay, <laughs> I know this looks kind of crazy, so let's go through it. I use a Danny Max booth and it has a cup holder, but I also use my cell phone as a backup. And it's also nice to just have my cell phone there for reference with Vibo. And there's just a lot of reasons why I want access to my phone during an event. So this allows me to obviously have a beverage and have my cell phone kind of in the same spot. So Amazon, love this thing, use it every single event. These, oh my gosh, these have changed my life. I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible so I won't go crazy, but these are the NLFX hybrid wires. So essentially it combines audio and power. These have streamlined my wire management. It makes cleanup and setup so much quicker. They're obviously a world-class cable, so I'm never worried about, you know, anything happening to them. So highly recommend getting a pair of hybrid XLR cables. I do keep spare XLRs, of course. These are also NLFX. These are 20 footers and I'm still using those cable wheels. So if I need, for whatever reason, more cable length or you just, I don't know, just a backup or something, I always keep two extra 20 footers with me at all times. The rest are just some extra extension cords for the you never know. Now, truthfully, I have a 20 foot cable that comes out of my booth directly that can plug directly into the wall. But sometimes you may need a little extra. So I have a couple of 10 footers and then some uh, piggyback IECs for splitting power if I ever need it. Don't really use them much, but again, they're there if I need it. So pretty much all of my wires live in the back of the backpack. Now I do always carry an extra box of extra everything, but that stays in the truck. It doesn't come with me to the event. So in an emergency, I can run out there and grab something, but I have some extra things in here. So the main stuff that I really use in the back here is honestly just my um, hybrid wires and this cell phone cup holder. So I show up to the gig, unzip the back, literally pull that out and just keep the rest in here. Pull out the laptop, close up the bag, and get to work. So, folks, that is the ins and outs of everything inside my jetpack bag. Thank you for your time to check out what's inside my bag. I hope I give you some ideas of new items you can add that may make your event season that much easier. It's all about idea sharing here. Happy mixing, DJs.